Chronicles 28, 6 through 8. He said to me, this is God speaking to David, I believe, either David or Nathan the prophet who's speaking back to David. Um, I don't know if it's clear, but either way, David's hearing his words. Um, Build my house and my courts, for I have chosen... He said to me, Solomon, your son, shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. And so this is talking about Solomon being chosen by God to be next king. Now, Solomon was not the oldest son, so ideally you wouldn't have went to him if they went on human standards. But God's the one that picked him, so Solomon was going to be king. And oftentimes it would go to the oldest king, the son. But here God overrules that and says, Solomon's my next king. He wanted to be the king. And he's going to build the temple, my temple, my house. Um, so we see God choosing Solomon for the next one. We should allow God to choose the leadership in the church, not us, the church choose our own leadership. It should be God-ordained. But we all should be willing to step up into a role so God could use us. I will establish my, his kingdom forever if, this is conditional, he be constant to do my, my commands and my ordinances at this day. Solomon would follow God for a period of time but would fall into idolatry and womanizing as well as probably other things that aren't mentioned in scripture um but and because of this god's promise to david would be fulfilled jesus came through david but because this is conditional and solomon broke god's commands jesus did not come through the line of solomon he came through a son we don't really much know about of david's nathan <clears throat> Now, therefore, the sight of all Israel, the assembly of the Lord, and the audience of our God, observe and seek out all the commands of the Lord your God, that you may possess good land and leave it for an inheritance to your children after you forever. Now, David would follow God, so his kingdom by the time Solomon would be around would be good. Solomon would make treaties, Solomon would marry women, to build up his land further, to keep peace, rather than trust in God and follow God. Solomon married way too many women, bringing their gods into their, his life, leading to idolatry. And because of all this, I believe God allowed the split of the kingdom after Solomon. A split that the kingdom never really was returned the way it should have been. Um, even when they returned from exile, Still ain't the kingdom the way it was meant to be. I, I, I don't think it will be until the crime of Christ and he sets up his kingdom will it ever fully be restored the way it was during this time of David prior to his death because of Solomon's error. We need to realize that if we don't follow God's commandments, it may affect generations. But if we truly follow him, then through us, he can make a difference that lasts past us into generations. Instead of making a difference for bad, let's follow him and make a difference for good.